Hey everybody, this is Robert Patrick. Watch Shaun of the Dead. Hey, what's going on? Shaun of the Dead. Um, I talked to a guy earlier. Um, I responded to his question on somebody else's video, not even my video. I was watching a review on a mod, and um, he was asking about how to uh, turn up the heat, as it were, on his mod. So I told him generically how to do it, and I said, uh, go ahead and check me out this evening. I'll go ahead and put up a video on how to do this. Uh, so this is a quick little how-to. This is just Quill Building 101. Um, for all you old pros out there, this is nothing revolutionary or anything um, but for someone that's trying to learn how to do a lower build um, to create a little more heat so they can do a little bit better cloud chasing then uh, this video is for you that, are, that is you know beginner to intermediate um, if you're advanced then you know I appreciate you watching but uh, yeah this is nothing revolutionary at all um, this is 26 uh, gauge canthal So, as to how to make things hotter, um, it's very, very, very easy. Um, there's just a handful of rules to really remember. That's it. Just a handful of rules to remember. Um, is what gauge your camp thaw is. Uh, the lower the number, the thicker the gauge. How many wraps you have. And how big of circumference is your hole. That, that you're wrapping around your, your device, your post. Whether you're using a syringe or whether you're using a screwdriver or whatever it is that you're wrapping your canthal around will be um, uh, delineate how hot your build is along with how many wraps you have and, and how thick a coil you're using. Uh, I use 26 most of the time for most everything. Um, I'm kind of a fan of Twisted 26. Um, that's what I'm using right now, some Twisted 26. Um, this ohms out at uh, 0.22. Um, it's a fairly low build, but I don't like a real hot build, so um, I go with something that's a little bit cooler than, than some of the big bad boy Cloud Chaser guys. That's not really me. I um, tend to go with something a little bit more for flavor uh, and just something for enjoyment. Um, I'll do a little bit of cloud chasing occasionally, but uh, I'm no competition uh, cloud chaser or anything like that. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of, of how to make your build hotter, because that's what you're here for. So um, with whatever gauge you get, uh, again, the lower the number, the thicker the coil. The thicker the coil, the hotter that that in, that the the coil is going to be. Now it may take a little bit more time for it to get hot because you're using such a thick coil, but once it gets once it gets cooking, it will be cooking really hot. Um, I recommend doing 26, 24 at most. Uh, 24 is not bad, um, but if you're getting any any smaller or any larger then 24, smaller number, high, you know, higher thickness, then you're starting to, you know, probably going to start to get close to overloading your mod. Uh, you don't want to do that. You can take the 26 and you can wrap it around the, uh, the general screwdriver, uh, generic vapor screwdriver kit. Um, the smallest uh, screwdriver in here is pretty small. And if I wrap 26 gauge around this, and I do six wraps, it's going to it's going to ohm out to 0 0.30. I know this because it's what I, it was my fallback number for the longest time before I picked up a Manhattan, and that immediately made things cooler. So I started up in the heat, and then now uh, right now I'm going to go to my slow Joe, which I freaking love, um, but. Uh, and now I'm okay with a little warmer vape than I used to be. 
Now, if I do five wraps, it's going to drop to a lower ohm. If I do four wraps, lower, three, lower, so on. Um, really shouldn't go lower than three or four wraps. I wouldn't recommend going lower than four because you're kind of defeating the purpose at that point. Uh, it's going to be very, very easy to bend your coil whenever you're trying to wick it. Um, it just, it's not going to be as solid. Um, it'll get hot really, really fast. You're going to burn your cotton. Uh, it's going to have a hard time keeping up with the wicking process uh, to wick up all the juice into your coils from uh, into such a thin little coil build. That's why a lot of people will build parallels and things like that in order to get more heat because they're, they're heating up at different temperatures because they're different gauges and I've done that with 32 and 26 and it was a nice build uh, but the disparaging difference between 26 and 32 was so great that I would have some slippage inside the post and I was always having to constantly fidget with my posts just to make sure that they stay together so if you're going to do parallels do them very very you know, very close in number, but not exactly the same in number. Um, now, since I know that six wraps on this is 0 0.30 ohms, um, I know that if I decide to do six wraps on this, which was a far smaller circumference than the screwdriver, then that's going to ohm out as a lot lower. So I can do six wraps on this, give myself probably a somewhere around a 2.28 uh, I think, 0.27, I can't remember exactly what it ohmed out, I think it was a 0.27 at 6 wraps on a syringe. Um, now if I wrap it 3, uh, if I wrap it uh, 5 times or 4 times, now I'm going to start to drop the number even lower. So I know that I just did a build uh, at 24 gauge and I did it on a screwdriver, and I did so four wraps. I did on yours. Did four wraps, and it ohmed out at 0 0.19, 0 0.19, and that's 24 gauge. That's a pretty thick gauge. Um, you could do something similar if you wanted to do twist to 26 and do four wraps, um, or on something like this, you'll get a much much lower read. Um, if you wanted to go with something just smaller in general, um, you can wrap this with four times, and you should be some hitting somewhere right around uh, uh, 0.24, something like that. You jump up to a 24 gauge, and if you wrap it around this versus this, then you're going to be looking at something that's probably going to be reaching somewhere right around uh, 0.15, because um, we know that four. Four wraps to 24 on this is 0.19, so four wraps on this should be about 0.15 thereabouts. I'm starting to remember, remember, mem and remember, and memorize. You know, talk. Um, how many wraps per what size item I'm using gives me what ohms. So I don't even have to worry about looking at it. I can just wrap it, cut it, stick it. You know, make sure they fire at the same time and go. Uh, simple as that. Um, here's one of the easiest ways to wrap. Um, and of course you probably already know how to wrap, but um, one of my buddies uh, is, is a really, really good coil builder. He actually taught me a lot of um, what to do and how to build. Uh, he told me to start on a syringe on purpose uh, because, and actually I'll go ahead and do that. I'll do a syringe. Um, because um, for one, the smaller circumference um, it's easier if your coils get wide to bring them in and crimp them back together again because it's not so wide that they're going to overlap each other. They're more likely to come together naturally. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And he taught me one really good key point. Um, of course, I'm starting out with my thumb on this little safety zone. Um, and I just put, a, I put a, lot, a loop right over the top. Well then what I do is I loop it out a little further than that initial loop and I go one and I go again two three four so I count out each one and I go okay that's four now a lot of people will take and they'll take a torch and they will heat up 
the crap out of the cancel, uh, cancel. Um, can if you want. Um, doesn't hurt it. It doesn't make one one difference to me one way or the other. Um, that's all personal preference. Now I'll take this piece that I had over here and I'll bend it back around the opposite direction like I'm unwinding it because that's exactly what I'm doing. Now I'll take a pair of flat uh, snips here, or a pair of flat, uh, flat uh, grips here that have no teeth because I want to make sure that my canthal is as flat as possible. Uh, just like to keep it nice and smooth. So then I have that. Now, another buddy of mine happens to be the store manager of Skyline Vapes. You'll see, uh, if you watch my Skyline video, his name's Joe. He's the one I did the interview with. He said for a beginner, when I first started learning, I have my, I have my, my coil. Let's still attach the rest of my can fall. So what I want to do is I want to take my coil and I want to cut one side a little longer than the other. And the reason for that is for one, I personally choose to use the long side as my center post side, which is your positive. Because your center post is the one that has dual coils going through, or, or dual wire uh, coil, um, I can't thought going through, so you can actually have a that good timer um, for the brownies. Uh, so, um, whenever you put the uh, the camp all through, you have two spaces. Well, it's good to have a little bit longer camp all going through the metal section because your negative ends is just got one piece of camp all through, and so it can be shorter. You can mess with it more, and it doesn't matter. <coughs> um, so that's what I do. So again, we'll do this once more because. You know, everyone, everyone usually does dual coil. Um, first set I did was a dual coil vertical. Um, so um, I learned pretty quick on vertical. And you, you pick how much you want. The, the, the more comfortable you get with it. Um, so again, grab, one twist over. And I scoot out a little bit. And I count one, two, three. Four. Okay, I went a little faster that time because um, you already saw me do it really, really slow once. And then I can grab that, smooth it out a little bit. Grab this little piece right here, pull it back around. Grab it. And flatten it out. Now. And voila, there is another coil. And then all I have to do is simply just take and pop that off. Take this, depending on however long you want it, just as long as it's longer than. Clip it, boom, there's two coils. So that's enough for a build right there. And once you get good at it, this it takes 10 minutes to rebuild. I mean, it takes like no time. Um, so there's a set of coils. Now this is going to be a hotter build because they are 26 gauge and it is four wraps and it is on a syringe versus a screwdriver which is uh, roughly a third the size. Um, so it's going to be much much hotter than if I wrapped it around that screwdriver. So, which is a good thing because that's what you're looking for is you're looking for a hotter build. Um, I don't recommend just jumping from like if you're doing six or seven wraps now, maybe eight wraps um, I don't recommend going from six wraps and jumping right to four. Do a five wrap build. If that's still too cool, do a four wrap. Cool, uh, you know. And then if that's still too cool, find something smaller, do a five wrap. And then work yourself down and, and number of wraps. Again, I wouldn't go under four because you don't want to jeopardize the integrity of the coil itself. So that's just your basic. 101, 101, uh, coil building 101 with Shaun of the Dead. So uh, I hope this was a help to you. I hope this, you know, answered your questions. Any more, please feel free to ask. And as always, subscribe.